What's up guys, everything Apple Peru here, and today in a surprise release, Apple did release iOS 9.0.1 and iOS 9.1 Beta 2. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what's new in iOS 9.0.1. I mean, it was a surprise. We really didn't see it coming, so I'm curious what's new inside. I'm gonna be covering everything that's been fixed, if there are any new features, and how's the performance. I mean, iOS 9 was a mess. Let's see if 9.0.1 is the first firmware to fix it. Now, it's an extremely small update. I mean, to update, you guys can do it from over the air or from your computer, but it literally took me only five minutes. It was such a quick update. And this is on my six plus. So after updating, I noticed that it does take a while to index all the files. So if you notice an extreme sluggish right after updating, set your device aside and let it sit, you know, for a couple of minutes. I mean, throughout the day, you'll notice that the performance will start getting a little bit better because your files are pretty much getting settled in to iOS 9.0.1. But I got to tell you, uh, it really didn't fix anything for me i mean everything is still not the fastest and here is ios 9 so the first version just to show you guys it's it's really exactly the same there's a stutter when launching the app switcher and the speed i mean on the newer devices the iphone 6 plus i haven't noticed that much of a difference maybe it's a little bit smoother launching applications but i wouldn't say all around usability is so let's try app store Seems like there might have been a more fluid animation to it. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna do a full speed test to give you the conclusive result of whether iOS 9.0.1 is faster than iOS 9, but I don't see it just yet. So before updating, I just wanted to point out that I did have about 79.8 gigabytes free and 113 total capacity. After updating, it went to 80.1. So I got a little bit back. Maybe the cache files got cleaned, but that's nice, I guess. On such a large device, I noticed there was a little bit of a storage increase. And not to mention the actual file size was very small for the update. So what does this update fix? I mean, if it doesn't fix the performance, what was it for? In the official change logs, Apple actually did say that there are a few bugs that did fix, such as fixing an issue where some users could not complete setup assistant after updating, fixes an issue where sometimes alarms and timers could fail to play, and an issue and Safari and photos where pausing video could cause the paused frame to appear distorted. Also fixes an issue where some users with a custom APN setup via a profile would lose cellular service. So, uh, you know, that's a couple bug fixes, nothing major. And actually this is exactly the same as last year. iOS 8 was released then 8.0.1 immediately about a week after. So it's good to have these updates, but so far I'm not really noticing any major change. And here's the kicker. So the actual bypass remains at low large in this latest firmware. It was just really amusing to find that Apple didn't fix this. Siri, what time is it? It's 10.50 a.m. So pretty much same process. We're gonna type a few letters into here and share message, type a new contact, double tap on it create new contact or add to existing content and boom, you're back in everybody's photos. So this will most likely be fixed in iOS 9.1. I'm gonna be making a video about that as well. I'm gonna see if it did fix inside of it, but so far here I am and my device is locked in the background. So if you guys uh, do care about your security, about your photos and contacts, make sure your phone Siri is disabled on the lock screen. And that's pretty much it for the bypass. So it still exists in 9.0.1. So guys, that's just about it. I'm coming at you with a speed test video video very soon, but as far as I can tell, iOS 9.1 remains identical on the Surface. Look at that. There is quite an amount of stutter on it. Uh, not much was fixed performance-wise, but there were some bug fixes, I guess, that were resolved for some people. It's weird that Apple rushed this update. They didn't add the bypass into there. They didn't fix anything but some very minor small bugs. Should you update? I mean, why not? If you're already on iOS 9, there's no reason not to. If you're on 8.4.1 holding out for a jailbreak, then of course, this is no reason to update. Uh, just stay on iOS 8.4.1 where you're at. And if you're on iOS 9, why not update? It'll make your experience a little bit better and where it's at now, I can't see it possibly getting worse. So go ahead and update. You guys will be on the latest version of iOS 9. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope I could fill you in on some information. Unfortunately, there wasn't as much changed as I thought there would be, but you know, it's good to get some little bug fixes. Stay tuned for that speed test video. Have a great day, guys. Peace.